What's going on, everybody? Weston Hockwitz from the Green Bay Press Gazette, joined alongside my colleague Scott Vency. Falling practice today on Tuesday, and Scott, big name was missing from Rainichke Field. The biggest name, Hod, but everybody calm down. Aaron Rodgers, Mike McCarthy said it's just a common head cold. He will be back tomorrow, but it kind of opened up a little bit of an opportunity for the other quarterbacks on the roster. What did you see from those three today, Hod? Well, that was a big thing, Scott. What it did by Aaron Rodgers not being on the field, and Mike McCarthy has alluded to this a lot, when you have four quarterbacks, it's very difficult to get all those reps to all four of those guys. Well, without Rodgers in the equation, Graham Harrell and Vince Young handled a lot of the first-team work, and even B.J. Coleman got a few snaps at the first-team offense after pretty much being relegated to scout team duty for the majority of the past two weeks. That being said, when it came down to the final no-huddle drill, it still was Graham Harrell's ball. And, and the fact of the matter is is that if the Packers had to make a decision right now, I think that's an indication that Graham Harrell, Graham Harrell is still their quarterback. Now, Vince Young has a week and a half to make up for that lost time, but at this point in time, you look at it, I think you still got to like Graham Harrell in that spot. I was also intrigued, rookie defensive back Micah Hyde, doing punt returns today, was that something that surprised you or something that should be expected? Well, this has surprised me the entire week, Scott, because I was in St. Louis and I actually asked Micah Hyde that. I was like, Micah, have you actually been fielding punts? I haven't seen you doing it all. He remains adamant that he's done it in practice. I hadn't seen it up until that game against St. Louis when they threw him in there, but we talked to Sean Slocum today, the Packers special teams coordinator. He said that this is a guy that has the ability to do it, and he's proving that he can do it, and he proves that he has some explosiveness to him and that he could be in competition for that. He's already on special teams he's already contributing on defense and this looks like another way they could possibly use him now personally I still think Jeremy Ross is still the leading candidate if it isn't Randall Cobb but Ross is going to have to make the active roster Micah Hyde is pretty much a lock at that spot the Packers have a week and a half left Sean Slocum said they're not looking to make a decision right now but they're keeping their options open here going into the final kind of stretch run of the preseason well until next time we appreciate Scott joining us I'm Weston Hockwood stay tuned to PackersNews.com we'll see you later